It all started with data from NASA's TESS satellite, the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, which scans the sky, measuring the tiniest changes in stellar brightness. Back in 2019, TESS detected small dips in the light curve of this system, likely caused by a transiting planet with an orbital period of just 3.5 Earth days. That became the first planet candidate. Later, after the satellite re-observed the system in subsequent sectors, the team spotted two more interesting signals, though a bit weaker, with periods of 2.29 and 2.03 days, respectively. To confirm that these weren't just random noise in the data but actual planets, the team turned to ground-based observatories. They went through tons of archival data and managed to confirm at least two out of the three signals. That's standard procedure, of course. But what's really fascinating about this story is that, at the time of those detections, the system wasn't even known to be binary. Or rather, astronomers hadn't realized it yet. You see, TESS isn't designed for extremely high spatial resolution. It's not meant to visually separate individual stars with precision. Its job is different. So for TESS, this system appeared as just a single bright dot of light, not larger than one pixel. The only thing the telescope can do is measure how the brightness of that dot changes over time. The fact that TOI-2267 is actually a pair of stars was discovered while astronomers were trying to confirm the planetary signals. To do that, they used the 8-meter Gemini North Telescope, which is equipped with speckle interferometry, a technique that allows imaging at incredibly high resolution. Thanks to this, the one single point of light split into two distinct stars, separated by about eight astronomical units. So, in this peculiar system, the planets were literally discovered before their stars. How about that?